All right, so here is the Quadratech package deal tow hitch receiver. It's a premium tow hitch. As you can see, I'm about to do an unboxing. This is still completely sealed. Just got into the mail today, and we'll throw it on. The first thing I need to do is get that tape off, and I don't have a knife on me. So this is going to be a full uncut video, so that way you can see step by step on how it comes and how you um, install it. So if you want to skip the video, you can. So right here it is. It's open up up top. This is what comes in it. Right here's some basic instructions on how it fits in. Um, here's your wire harness that connects to the trailer hitch. And here's actually the receiver itself. I spent the extra $5 and got the actual Jeep brand logo instead of the Quadratech cap. Uh, it doesn't matter to me if it's Quadratech or Jeep, but I just wanted to go Jeep. And right here is the actual receiver itself. So looking off first, you have your welded on nuts on the back side. They're already locking in, so you don't have to worry about locking from another side. So you want to undo your bolts right here. Is that for all of them? So to take these out. You need an 18 millimeter socket and you just work these back until they come out. Okay, so once you have all your bolts out, what you want to do is take your receiver and the good, the good thing about this is a lot of hitches are made so you go in with the bumper off and the bolts to screw in from the bumper side. This is made so that way you can mount it directly up underneath and the bolts come towards your bumper so that way you don't have to take your bumper off. And the side under here and your hitch is going to mount directly right here's a middle point you can't see it right here. Right here's a middle point you have four bolts right here on the frame and you have your two underneath. This is where you're going to mount it. Your hitch is going to slide, your receiver is going to slide directly up into this, and you're going to put your bolts in through the holes and line the holes up, and it'll hold right there. So I'll be right back. Now once you have your receiver mounted, you want to go ahead and tighten your bolts down. A couple of them might be a little tight already with how it's fitted, but go ahead and tighten these down. These have to be torqued down to 80 foot-pounds, so it's pretty tough. But uh, once you get these four mounted or tightened down, then you're good to go. And here you have it. I have all four bolts in and tightened down. You can see them coming through the back end right here. There's my hitch receiver. It's on there. Real sturdy. This is a real heavy duty hitch. It's rated for, I think, I bought the uh, one that was 7,500 pounds. So this is a real good hitch. And then now we will put on the wireless, or the, the uh, wire harness. And this is where the bracket will actually mount whenever it comes through. So what you want to do now, you want to get you a Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take out these two bolts on the tail light and that'll pull this whole assembly off and we'll let this dangle. So I'll be right back. Lay our wire harness out of the way. We'll remove these two screws. Keep these somewhere you won't lose them while they're gone or out.
These aren't in here tight at all because of the plastic. Don't want to break this whenever you put these back in. this out. And here you have your bracket. So I'm going to put these screws back in here in the holes they came out of so that way I won't have to keep up with these. And now we can get onto our harness. So when you open this up, get your harness and your tubes. Band right here on these little plastic bands they hold. All you have to do is put that, and it's off. And now your new harness, right here is your end that plugs in, or that attaches to your receiver. And then you'll have your tube, and these little plastic pieces right here will actually fit in little holes on the frame on your way down, so that way it keeps all this up underneath your Jeep and not hanging down. Here you have a male and a female receiver. This will go right here on the back of the tail light. You'll pull this apart and fit that onto these and you're going to feed the tube down in through here. There's a little piece of felt down here and there's a little hole where if you look you can actually see through to the bottom through the frame. So you're going to feed the part that's going to connect to your receiver down through there and it'll come out the bottom and you'll just mount it up underneath. So this is what it looks like. So right here's your tail light. I'll put the female adapter in. No, I'm going to put the male in here snaps right into place now what you're going to do is you're going to take this female adapter in put it on what you just took off boom try to snap in and they're nice and tight both ends are now you're going to stuff this in here you're going to take this bottom in you're going to feed it through that hole take our screws back out and put the tail light back on.
something is blocking the way. I need to check it real quick. Like I said, these don't need to be tightened down real tight because this is a plastic and you don't want to break your tail light. There we go. Now as you can see, we have the harness running directly down. You see it came through that hole right over here. All that stuff. Let's back up. And if we can. And there's a hole right here. You're going to take your plastic piece and you're going to fit it right in that hole. Now what you'll do is you'll run this piece or this wire harness and you'll run it through the frame up through here and you put them in the little holes on the way. Sorry if the camera job is not the best. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And you'll see where the uh, plastic pieces go as you move along. right here. Where's it going? This middle bracket. There we go. And then you just need to plug in your holes on the way. have this one out of place. As you can see, we're now finished. I have the white pins in it. There's one right there. 
and everything is tucked nice and neatly up out of the way. I messed up on this one. This one right here is actually supposed to go up on a hole right here beside the uh, exhaust system. So don't make a mistake like I did. This one goes right here. Other than that, I got them all. They're good. Bolts tightened. Everything's finished. This is what it looks like from the outside. We have our four pin connector right here. Nice and stable in the bracket. Have our receiver. Put the cover on. And all that's left to do now is put our cover on right here. So we're just going to slide this over. right in there just like that there's one whole piece There we go. Just like that, it's over.